Hey guys, it's Morgan coming to you with a review slash tech video. Uh, today we are reviewing the Raviconda tire changer. I know they've been around forever. People have been giving me a hard time saying welcome to 2012, <laughs> all that good stuff. Um, but I have been using, let me show you, the Moose copy of the Raviconda now for quite a few years. Uh, you can see it basically is uh, just a copy. It's pretty much the same rig. Um, one of the big differences though I'm finding is that this thing is floppy, movie all around, slippery because it's just metal on the concrete. Um, this one, first of all, much sturdier rig when you move it. I mean, obviously it's still gonna move some, but not as floppy. It's got uh, rubber feet that keep it from moving around on the ground. Um, some changes, there's definitely some differences in the geometry, not a ton. Also, I'm pretty excited about trying out the tire irons. Um, these are the official um, Rabiconda tire irons. So anyway, guys, here we go. We're going to review this thing, um, give it a fair shake against that. I've changed a million mooses on the moose one. So now we're just going to change one on this, change my bike. I'm going to put a brand new V tire with a brand new nitro moose. So let me get that wheel off and we'll go to work. For my, uh, my little bike, it was a, a kit from KTM, and it actually wasn't that expensive. All right, guys, so I'm going to treat this like a tutorial for um, mooses, and we're just going to see, um, you know, if this thing's easier um, to use than the moose racing one. So. One thing I can say is out of the box, the adjustments here are much tighter. So we're gonna set that to the 18 inch. This one feels like it might need to be tightened up. So I'm gonna pretty cool, pretty easy to take off. I'm gonna tighten this nut down uh, just a tiny bit. Um, you can see actually it's turning so um, I think it just needs to be tightened down it's got a bit of a lock nut I think oh no that's just the thing so all right so yeah we're gonna tighten this down uh, and then uh, we'll put it back on but you can see this thing comes apart super quick you can take all these things apart and put it in its bag that it comes with super fast Alright guys, so let me tell you right now, that was way easier than adjusting the moose one, because the moose one loosened up too, uh, but to get it tight and then get it, it just sucked. So that's awesome, way, way, way easier. Alright, now I'm going to take our tire, boom, slide down on there, we're going to loosen our rim lock up. Also guys, I'm pretty psyched to show you this rim lock, it's kind of a, I don't know if they're selling them yet, but Nitro Moose is been uh, working on these rim locks and they're really really cool all right there we go Very nice thing is that the rabbit kind of comes with tool holder already on it it's just super super nice so now when I do this uh, to dismount this thing I like to take the rim lock let me show you take the rim lock that's right here Move it to this side because I'm right-handed and I'm going to be working in here and then spinning. So we're going to put an iron here, then spin, iron here. And so that moves as we go away from the rim lock. So we're going to start like that, rim lock about a quarter of the way out. Then we're going to start putting them in. Oh, you're going to want to take the flat end or the more, the more straight end. We're going to come in like this. We're going to hook into the tire this way. Take our bead breaker, we're gonna push down and put it all the way in. You can kind of feel it click 
right? We're gonna come over here, go about four inches. There we go. Spin it. Let me show you what this looks like, guys. Here we go. Got those four. Now, um, actually, I just learned this from watching the Rabiconda video. Uh, you want to start with the middle ones. I've always started with one and kind of worked our way around. And it works most of the time, but sometimes the last one will slide out. And it's kind of a pain. But they were talking about how you do the first, the inner ones first, and that keeps that from happening. So let's give that a shot. Gonna take the bead breaker, use it to push down as we take one of these middle ones. And that helps to take the bead and get it down into the drop center of the tire. Like that. Like that. And by using the straight ones, they come right out. Flip her over. And then we're gonna start. We're gonna push down, you can see, there's where we just took it off. I just come over to the side just a little bit, take our bead breaker, and we're gonna push. Work away from the rim lock. Push down, we pushing to get the tire and the moose all the way past the rim. So now, we got it all down except for here. We can't push obviously on here because we're pushing this rim lock. So then I like to bring it back like this, speed breaker, and we're gonna push it the rest of the way off. There we go, see it's down past the rim, put the hand on it, slide. Now, we've got everything off except for at the rim lock. And what we're gonna do is then we're gonna bring this up like that so it's up high and that'll push and hopefully just like that over the rim lock. Now we're gonna do this like a six day change. Um, and not take that tire off. Now we can put it on. I don't really like to work on this side of it, so flip it like that. Just gotta be careful of your spacers. But like that. now we've got this. We'll go grab a tire and a moose, prep it, and get it ready to go. All right, guys, so we're mounting up a V Moto Force AT. Do you love? Um, and we're using a Nitro Moose, so I'm going to use. Hey, I'm going to try. Back to your boobs, huh? <laughs> yes! Yes! Huh? Woo! <laughs> I had to stop and get shit. All right, guys, quick intermission. G Love is a big Avalanche fan. Zach lives and breathes and dies by the St. Louis Blues. Yeah. Go and the Avalanche just put the Blues out of the series. Play dirty. <laughs> <laughs> your ass. So we're all very excited here in Colorado because we've got to give Zach hard. Zach's from St. Louis. That's why he's a little bit off. Uh, not quite as cool as the rest of us here at the shop. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he can't so, take the loss. So we are very, very happy that the St. Louis Blues are going home. Uh, and the Avalanche will move on in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Uh, all right, guys. Anyway, here's the thing. We're going to... I have not been a big proponent of the only one tube of lube that um, Nitro Moose provides or Michelin or any of those guys. But after talking to Jeff and whatever, I'm going to do a test. So you guys should subscribe to the channel because I will let you know how many hours and everything I put on this thing and what it looks like when I pull it back out. We're just gonna use one tube of nitro lube and I'm gonna do it just like they say. So, oh, she's in her kennel. Oh. You can go let her out. So, take this. We're just gonna put it in here. We're not gonna go crazy spreading it around. Play it up. 
Now we're gonna grab our moose. Oh, I know, these rocks. The avalanche one. Watch out. Get out of the way, guys. All right, guys. So we got a moose. Oh, no worries. Got a moose. Brand new shiny nitro moose NM 18305. I got some WD 40 just to help slide it in there. The thing I like about using WD 40, it's the same as uh, using uh, soapy water, it dries up and goes away. So push it down then. Lay, you've been nice. Oh, him? Oh, yeah. All right, got the moose in. Now, let me show you guys this rim lock. It's pretty cool. So, if you've ever seen the tubeless system, they use this thing as a rim lock, but it's got a hole or whatever anyway. So, Nitro Moose has come up with this uh, setup. Pretty sweet. It's just a nice, super strong piece of aluminum. It's got teeth on it. Really cool. So, we're going to put that in here. Now, let me do it over here so you can see it, but I'll bring you guys over and show you what I'm doing. So we're gonna start at the rim lock. We're gonna take this, we're gonna hook the tire onto the rim lock and push it forward. Show you guys what exactly that looks like. So we come here, push the rim lock, come in boom just like that sorry guys so I like to lean on with my thighs come in here now we're using the curved ends of the irons. come in here and lay it stay here I'm gonna push down then good girl stay rotate it around good girl stay come in here we're just gonna work this over. I like these tire irons way better than the Motion Pro ones. They're definitely stronger. And the curve on them, while it's similar, is just different enough that I like it. There we go. Come on. Come on. All right, guys, now that we have the bead on, we need to push this moose down so it's in the rim. So let me show you what we're going to do. Take your WD. Get that on the moose. What up? And we're just going to take our irons. She's in the rim kennel. That's why I'm not yelling, though. Yeah. Look at you. Oh, you said you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Oh, you're a good boy. Oh, you're a good boy. Are you a good boy, Morgan? I am. Yes. Boom. Just like that. In your own tires. All right, guys. We got the moose down into the bead. We're all good to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this rim lock and we're going to put it right there um which is close to the bead breaker and then i'm going to take this tire iron we come in here we're going to rotate it boom go just like that and when you move it just a little bit that lines this up with this um you'll see what i'm going to do with that here in just a second so now we are going to grab the rest of our tire irons which is four we're going to start working our way around. And this moose is a little bit big, so it's going to be a little bit harder than some mooses, but we should be good. So now we're going to start coming from this side. Here. Now. When we get here, we're almost halfway across from where we started. We're going to take one of these, and we're going to take it, and we're going to push it. We're going to put the up like this, 
this down like this, and we're going to push it down. Ah, like that. And that is going to act as a slide for uh, the, this bead to drop down in as we go further. A little bit more. And we're going to take that. We're going to do another one. There we go. Now, as we work around, what that's going to do is allow that bead to fall. And it's starting to work here. Let me show you. You can see that that bead is starting to fall down in just like we wanted to. That is another thing about these tire irons versus the Motion Pros, it's way, way nicer. So we're just gonna take little bites. And there it goes. See that drop down in. All right, so then what I like to do, move this, we're gonna unhook this, come in here, and we're tucking this. So I was wrong about these, I'm not exactly sure what these hoops are for, but we've got this tucked in like that so we can pry, see like that. like that we're gonna pry that in take our bead breaker get it to where it's down like that and then lean on it oh just like that and those come out over here really easily because how smooth that is I like that a lot tighten our rim lock down Just like that. So I think this is actually definitely better than the Moose one. Partially it is brand new, so it's not wiggly. So make sure you guys subscribe because we'll be checking in over time on this thing uh, and making sure that it stays as tight and as easy to use as it is. Uh, but right now I like it a lot. Um, I really like the tire irons way better. Um, I also like that method of using the tire irons as a way to make that uh, bead drop down into the center so yeah i think it's definitely better than the moose is it worth the over 500 dollars <laughs> to get set up versus that one was it's been a while now but it was like 275 plus tire iron so it's probably more like 325 or 350 versus uh, basically 550 so another 200 dollars um i don't know if it's worth another 200 dollars yet so um, you guys let me know in the comments below if you've used both the Moose and um, the Rabaconda. Let me know if you think the Rabaconda is worth that much. Obviously, the Rabaconda is infinitely easier to use than like the ones that are lower to the ground and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I think it's better. I like it a lot. See you guys on the next one.